What's up guys, I'm here to talk about the Boom. Um, it's a racket that I switched to. You guys know I used to use the McEnroe. One of the reasons I switched over is I did get a sponsorship with Head. And to tell you the truth, I shoot straight, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the McEnroe is a racket I love, especially if I'm playing against certain styles of players, right? Um, but as I've been starting to play a little bit more against some higher level players, Division Two and higher there's a little bit more spin it's a little bit harder to flat out as opposed to when i'm coaching and you know dealing with sort of i'm gonna say a lower level or more of a flatter style of hitting and you know the juniors and the college players hit a lot more spin now so i need just a little bit more kick on my ball and to push them back and it's a little bit harder to time and just flatten out balls because they are hitting so heavy so I've tried out the Prestige, the Radical, all those lines within head. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not too much of a fan of the newer ones, especially I used to use the, the Prestige and the Radical Liquid Metal MP back in the day. And I found the new Radical to be a little bit more harsh. Um, it, it, it didn't give me that pop and that easy access to height that I wanted. Even though the old Liquid Metals were 18 by 20, I felt like I got a lot more pop with those ones I've used for years. So really, uh, this is the best one in the line. It's, you know, I was having wrist injuries um, and this is a lot softer, the Boom, and I'm using the MP instead of the Pro. The older MP, I, I liked it was just sporadic, so I didn't really play with it. So this is the older MP and it was just a little, sporadic like i said off the string bed where i would hit a good spin one the ball would kick and then i would hit another one and yeah i felt like i hit it the same way i don't know if i was just not feeling you know the string bed right and that's why i was getting a different result off the ball or you know if it was the racket itself which is why my balls were very sporadic but i had to play with a lot more safety and especially a lot more height and spin than i would have liked with the older boom um mp so that's why i didn't switch over and the pro i figured you might as well go with the the old prestige graphene pro or i think the, the new one they changed the names on them which is dumb but it's the 16 by 19 prestige that's like 11.1 ounces i think if you're gonna go boom pro you might as well go that because the prestige is i think has more firepower than a boom pro so this is by far the newest mp I mean, I I like to say there's different rackets for different people, but to be honest, I think this is by far the best racket. Maybe it is because I'm more old school, but it reminds me of the Radical Liquid Metals and the sense of it gives me that nice pop control. It's not overpowered. Um, and then it, it makes up for the new modern game. These guys are hitting faster and more spin and the technology, you know, I say usually doesn't make a difference but there are differences every you know four or five years and you can tell the difference between these ones and rackets five years ago, right? So, I mean, the ball kicks like crazy. It's through the air. And what I like about this new Boom MP, like I literally, it's funny. They, they had the speeds, the head speeds, and they had, like I said, the Prestige and the Radical. And this one felt the most stable, even though it's two ounces lighter. I don't know if that's because of the weight distribution Maybe I got a heavier model, so I'll, I'm gonna shoot another video when I string the other Boom MP, just to confirm with you guys. But man, this thing is stable. And like I said, it feels like the old Radicals. and it, It's solid. I mean, the old, older one, when I used to hit off center, um, it would twist in my hand. And so once someone hit a heavier ball, I didn't like that, it, the MP was way too light. And so it was something I used more for coaching and less for playing, right? And now this one I can use for coaching, it gives me that nice nice feed, um, very gentle on my wrist and my arms and stuff, but then I can also play with it, which is awesome, right? So highly recommend this. That is the big difference between the Boom MP now and the Boom MP of the past. One is stability, and two is it gives you a little bit more of the pop and kick without the sporadic you know um shots off the string bed that you had with the older boom mp so if you like the old liquid metals you know more of that the softer 
heads um, back in the early 2000s, you know, um, those style of rackets, this one is is definitely for you. It, again, it, it plays kind of like the blade too, just a little bit more pop and I think a little bit more user friendly. I would say it's between a, a blend between the Bablot tear drives, which people love, and the Wilson blade. So by far the best racket I personally think on the market. And you know, I'm, I'm not gonna sell you on stuff because like I said, I, I just wasn't a fan of, of the other ones. So that tells you a lot when I'm sort of endorsing this one. But I will touch in next time and let you know when I do string the other one just to make sure it's not, you know, a error in production because sometimes they do. It's insane. Every racket company I'll play with, it's like why even get two of the same racket? Because you get one racket that's the weight they say it is and then you get another one that's heavier and now you have two different rackets, which is why I guess they say to get them specced out and pay the extra money. You know, and if you don't know what that means, it means you you uh, reach out to let's say Tennis Warehouse and you say, hey, can I get two of the rackets and have them spec the same? So that means they put them on the string weight or the swing weight machine that checks out and they also weight them and make sure they check out because there is that variance of error that is allowed and it's a pretty big difference. I don't know, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it's a big difference. So a little bit of feedback there on the rackets. I would go check this out if you're looking in for a new racket on the market right now and let me know what you think if you do try it out. All right, till next time, guys.